Right, uh, hello everyone, this is Dan from Fractured Media, uh, bringing you the Minecraft ATL server updates, uh, as you've probably seen in the last few that we've had. Also with me, have a special guest today. Identify yourself. What, me? Yeah. <laughs> well, I would be your brother. This is Daz, or Dazza667, as he is beautifully known on this fantastic game. Uh, he is the co-master mastermind behind this um, creation, <laughs> this world, every almost everything in it, uh, apart from the things that I copied, like this tower. Uh, and what? Freaking lasers! Yes, and the creation of the lasers, and the reason why we had to build a nuclear reactor underneath, which we'll show you in just a minute. Uh, as you can see, we have a brand new layout now, including webcam. Hello. And we are going to do a complete tour of everything that we have uh, thus far because we'll soon be ready to allow people who want to come and join the server um, to join up. It'll be even better soon because we'll have it completely independently. At the minute, it'll only be when one of us is actually online. But until such a time, um, we're, well, this is what we have so far. This is the main hub. This is where everything happens. There's still bits and bobs of everything everywhere. But uh, the computer system, as you can see, we've got a fair bit of uh, things. Quite a lot. The computer system all works. And it's completely wirelessly independent to the absolutely fantastic power fists we have. Which sounds like a really, really extreme porn film. Um, this here, which will be uh, soon changed to feed directly into the computer, is a, a feed from um, a digital miner, which is a very, 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 very long way away. Now, if we come out of there, because everything inside that is just now industrial process, apart from the uh, mess which is still on the top, uh, we have seen, whoopsie, we have seen already the CEO's office and everything that's in there. Not much has changed up there, apart from the, that we now have Gabe's uh, mounted skulls and heads on the wall. And we have also seen the workhouse, which is about to go undergo a little bit of transformation because things keep spawning in it, and the creature spawn house. But the one thing you'll notice has changed here is that the farm is no longer there. Instead, we have managed to move it all to completely different pastures including a cow there, which is wearing a battle armour, and I'm having that. Thank you. And that's Sarah in the background at Daz's end, introducing a nice little bit of World of Warcraft for us. Ah, okay, so we have the fields and pastures there. We also have this, which took me a long time this morning to sort out. But it is a completely self-watering, growing f farm, producing everything that we have. Uh, it still needs to be self-picked, so we need to fit in harvesters to actually uh, pick all of that. And uh, we have this entire bit here, which is going to have some form of building. We're not sure what yet, but um, we'll work on that when the time comes. Uh, the portal to the deep dark has now got a nice little lava surround it to make it look better and you will notice that the little nuclear reactor here has gone as well we'll be uh, coming to that in just a second uh, the diamond farm is coming along nicely and is almost ripe completely and the fountain looks resplendent as well and there's my phone telling me that it hears me and it doesn't care <laughs> Did Mark ask you a question again? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> this little space here is what we're going to be using for the heat vent for the computer, which shall be done shortly. And then down here is my little toy, which people keep messing with and pissing me off. The nuclear reactor. We nicked this idea, it's design, from somewhere that's going to remain nameless. And... Um, that produces so much power and we use so little at this precise moment in time that it's actually full and I've had to turn it off because otherwise it might explode. And I think we had a bit of a crossing then with Daz, but never mind. Uh, so apart from that, not much else has changed. I need to move this as well because it's an eyesore. 
cobblestone generating machine. Looks awful. Plus, we can feed it directly into the computer now that we have these. Uh, what are they called? What the uh, imports? Yeah. You mean the import coach or buzz, whatever it's called? Aye, so that's all we've got. Yeah, for now. Anything that goes in that crystal chest will now go straight into the computer. So that can be the dump chest if you want. <laughs> Wing. Well, that's brilliant, that is. Oh, it's almost emptied it already. No, that's bring... just, I've, I've facaded it out, lovely. That's bringing in everything from the monster dropper at the minute. So we can actually have that feeding from the digital miner, which is way, way over in the distance. I can't remember exactly where it is, but it's over in a desert biome. So everything that's coming into it now. So, so we're going to have that many bones soon. I think I think we already had like nine thousand. To so be able to make our own blooming bone chapel like that one in uh, Christ Germany or Norway or Sweden, Switzerland, one of them places, one of the places over the channel. And then we just need your crafting bench and uh, the, the self crafter in the computer, and we're good. Awesome, everything is awesome. Yeah, I need to go find the digital miner again because I did have a portal to it, but now it's gone. Oh, actually, can I use this to get to it again? No, I can't. God damn it. Oh well, time to go flying. Yeah. What did you do? I lost the portal. Yeah, I did notice the portal was missing. Yay, there we go, we're flying again. In fact, where is my portal gone? It was nothing to do with me. Ah, I found it. Right, we've just I must, I must add a potato to it. That is a must. Is it around here? What yep, the there it hell? is. Yay, I found my Digiminer again. And it's digging up quite a lot still. How's it looking? This is lagging like crazy. Yeah, it's because I've just gone to a completely different area now and about seven chunks have loaded in between. Uh, uh, yeah, it's it's still got a uh, thousand things that to do. That shouldn't do that. I'm coming back now anyway. Whoa. I managed to open a portal over the computer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, don't do that. And I didn't really mean to. And, f and, and, and furthermore, and I'll say this as a complete piece of advice in the fact that I wish I got this on camera, uh, don't use a portal gun to shift animals when you're just going to put two portals in the ground. Not a good idea, because I think it generally leads to death. It was, it was a pig fountain. It was beautiful. And then I decided to have a bit of fun with it, and I wish I'd have got this as well. Uh, thought, bugger it, why not? We can do it like that. I can just have them all kind of suspended in mid-air until one of them moves. And then I decided to shift one of the portals to the wall uh, of the uh, pasture. So all of them shot out the side of it, and I think two survived. <laughs> oh, and I've also seen something we need to find uh, on this, Daz. You remember that beautiful level from Diablo 2? Where, uh, uh, where, you, where you died very, very quickly? Yeah. Whilst listening to a lot of mooing. Ah. Moo. Moo, 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 moo. 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 Well, it turns out you can get that on here. Cool. I was watching uh, Ridge Dog earlier. Uh, playing on it and then he just quickly realised that he couldn't get out after he'd gone in there <laughs> I have glad off you causing trouble again it's a potato wow, it's, fu it's, it's quite fun watching you actually because you're jumping around like nobody's business it's right. a potato 
Yes. Oh, we're going to have to do something about this processing plant as well because it's an absolute uh, eyesore. That's something else that needs to be sorted. Right. This might seem like a silly question, but is it die or not? <laughs> I'm I have not. night vision. I can't tell the difference anymore. I'm not telling you. <laughs> Surely you can figure out from the lack of something because I'm not telling you. Well, I can't see any creepers or anything knocking around, so I'm imagining it might be daylight. Um, Which is really, really boring, because I wanted to try something. The... the oh, well, did you hang finish on. getting rid of the tree? The, yes. Ah, I wanted to do that. There you go, it's night time now. <laughs> I did some witchcraft. Uh, the, the, the machine isn't working. What machine? The machine is not working. I've just put a load of iron in the in the ender chest and it's working. It's not pull, uh -huh. it's not pulling them through into the chamber to be processed. I will come and have a look. And for God's sake, I'm sick and tired of activating these chuffing portals. I don't know why, but for some reason, the, the, the connection between the the moon and the space spaceship just isn't keeping. We need more moon turf to cover it because it just looks tacky. You see, of all, all the other things we've got to sort in this, this is one of the problems this building. We've managed to clear so much downstairs and move it all into the workshop. That's a point. We still need to go and light that up so that we don't get more creepers in there. Uh, but there is still so much that needs to be done in this building. Uh, what the hell? How did that get in there? What was uh, that? Ah, some dark iron ore got stuck in there because it won't process dark iron ore. That's why it wasn't working. That may have been my fault. There are certain things it won't process at all. And there we go. And this... Mainly you'll find the vanilla ones work quite nicely. Like copper and iron and stuff copper's like not that. But... Cop cop copper's not vanilla. Vanilla-ish then. <laughs> Gold, iron. Well, I don't think dark iron exists in the real world, so yeah. That's point. kind of the point I was trying to make. Things, things that actually exist. We can get pig iron, and believe me, I don't ever think pig iron was pink and had a nose. Well, at the end of the day, pig iron is steel. It's a very, very, very shitty steel. Yes, you're right. Yes, this is Daryl's baby. This is his setup for his uh, chip manufacturing process. And Get out of the way. <laughs> and it's insane and it will soon be upgraded to all it's laser plus nowhere near as big as the one that i use on my own game i can imagine and i don't want to imagine it i have at least twice the amount of lasers on mine right well have uh, some laser pluses made then and get it all looking sweet and, and we'll it... end this video here of this quick uh, walk around and noticing how we work and as you can see it's very badly but nonetheless it works Alright, chaos is awesome. And uh, to spot this, I'm going to go and sit in my... Uh... Screw it! I'm going to sit in the boss's chair to end this video. Not, He's not here to tell me otherwise. Although I need to build his... Um... Who made him the boss? Interview chamber. Yeah. Also, I look like a white Crichton. I'm quite pleased with that. Whoa! That's Why are you sitting disturbing. like six feet above the chair? I have absolutely no idea. I wondered why it went all weird. <laughs> That's better. With a Tyrannosaurus on my head. Oh no, he's jumped out again. Right, buggy you then. Right. So we're going to end this one like that. Dad sat in that chair. Bug it. That's supposed to be my desk, apparently. I'm thinking I want this one because it's made of blood wood, which is probably the best name of wood you're going to get. And, um, yes, so uh, when this goes up, hopefully we'll have a little bit more done, which we're going to be doing right now. So uh, say bye-bye, Daz. Bye-bye.